Hello booktube! Getting right into the reviews! I have been traveling a lot as you know which means I've incorporated a lot of audiobooks into my repertoire and in doing so I have come across a few really great gems. Not only was the audiobook pleasant to listen to so the narration was good but the content of a few of these really stood out to me so I want to share those particular listens, listens uh, with you. Stuff Matters, exploring the marvelous materials that shape our man-made world. So when I picked this book up, it's by a material scientist, so I really thought it was going to be a lot more chemistry, which you know I'm, I'm cool with. I like science-based books, and I also thought that it would be a bit of a how it's made, which is a bigger reason why I picked it up. It ended up being so much more than that. It was just enough science that I didn't get bored and I thought I had a foundational knowledge enough that I could grasp what was going on, but it didn't get so heavy into the science that it became tedious or um, slowed down the pace of the novel. And it does take some liber liberties. Um, there are some sections that are sort of private conversations between scientists or scientists and investors. And the story format was so good and it really got me into each major discovery. I think the weakest part of the whole audiobook was probably the beginning where the author talks about why he became a material scientist. This narrative social interaction with materials, with people, and how innovation was based on need. I know that's sort of like an, a logical progression, like you need something so therefore you try to fix it with an invention, but, but it wasn't just the invention itself. So one of the examples that was given in the novel was the rise in popularity of billards and how billard halls or pool halls became a popular sort of leisure activity for a lot of people but the balls were made of ivory and ivory being a limited scarce commodity companies were trying to incentivize the creation of a synthetic alternative and one of the key influential factors in the US version of that was that Yes, technically this ball can function as an ivory ball would, but the sound is off. And the importance of the experience of interacting with a material, not just the material itself and the need that it fulfills. And I think that that social aspect that is woven all the way through this novel is something that I found probably the most fascinating of probably this might be one of my favorite books this year so far because it wasn't just the interaction, but it's all the things you don't think about. Another example that he gave was you don't taste the fork you eat with. And he talked about how when it's iron or when things were made of, you know, bronze, those kinds of things, you taste them. They have a reaction that you can, you can quantify sort of. And the multitasking of different materials and, and just noticing our interactions with the materials and the importance of those interactions not being just the tactile need base, but the desire to make razors disposable so that everybody can be clean shaven. And I, I don't know, I, this, this book was great. If you like how it's made, but maybe not to the point of the actual manufacturing, you just want a little bit of the like key components, but how a discovery was made and why this was an excellent read. I enjoyed the audiobook version. I liked this. This was a great listen. I would recommend this book if you have any interest whatsoever in the material world around you and why, you know, we have some of the things in that world now that we didn't before. I will see you again in the next video. Bye.